Hi everyone, I'm Lara from Light Coast by Lara, the Tigress of the Light, and today is a new moon, so you know what new moons bring us. It brings us the amazing opportunity to channel some beautiful light language for you as part of a ceremony, as part of an activation, and a healing. So this new moon is in Cancer, so beautiful Cancer, we're in super watery emotional season, <laughs> so maybe you guys have noticed some interesting deals with your emotions lately, I certainly have and what I'm noticing with this new moon is the opportunity I'm going to say opportunity because of course we must present our challenges in a positive light <laughs> um, the opportunity to look at how are we navigating the things that are challenging us that trigger us into perhaps an emotional upset um, some sort of disharmony within ourselves so anything that's maybe with your partner or in your work life or just some odds and ends frustrations that are coming up disharmony in whatever ways that are invoking emotions this is a very watery season so it's a good time to know that these emotions will ebb and flow just like the tides so these are some thoughts for you to work with this new moon really watch how you're feeling watch how you're handling and dealing with your emotions what you jump to what you might um, create some falsity around even because sometimes when we're quick to respond like our emotions sometimes force us to respond quickly well not force us but they encourage us to respond quickly we can actually take a step back and say whoa why am I responding like this? Why am I having such an emotional charge towards this? Is this something that's going to bother me in a year? Or is this something that I can actually work through and learn from in a functional way so that we can perhaps heal what's triggering us um, so that we don't maybe keep repeating those same patterns and behaviors moving forward? thus making our life a heck of a lot more pleasant and smooth and keeping the people around us a little happier. <laughs> because <laughs> nobody likes a cranky crab. <laughs> Cancer season. I love you, Cancers. Um, all right, so light language. We're going to offer you a light language um, blessing ceremony for this new moon. So I invite you to feel your feet, feel into your heart space. Everything that is going to be channeled through me is with the highest intention, highest good for all involved. This light language always bypasses our thinking brain and connects directly with our energetic body. It's actually speaking to our heart, to our soul, to our higher self. It's speaking to all these levels of our being, which is just so amazing that it can bypass things like the ego, where, you know, that's where we can get tripped up sometimes with those emotions, right? So it's nice to have a healing modality that can just bypass all of that and work directly with our energy bodies. So I invite you to feel your feet. That helps to keep us grounded throughout this ceremony. Um, connecting with our heart space opens, a, opens us up to receive in mm, just a more open way. I, <laughs> it's like, it's like you have a greater opportunity to connect with the energies and actually perhaps have an opportunity to feel them or sense them, sense them in the ways that um, you are strongest in your perceptive abilities. So you might feel things, you might see things, you might get downloads of information, um, you might hear some things other than the sounds coming through my voice. You know, it, it's it's a very um, personal experience and whatever it is that you experience, and that could be nothing at all because we could just go into a lull of with this energy, which is totally fine too. Whatever it is that you're experiencing is wonderful and unique to you. So I invite you just to deep, keep breathing deeply, feel your feet and heart space, and we will begin our light language blessing ceremony for this new moon in Cancer. Connecting with the new moon energies, the beautiful ebbs and flows of the water element, our emotional body that could perhaps be in need of a little bit of support. Say it to Naya, 
Opening ourselves up to connecting with the softness of this energy, the home body energy, the comfort energy. So we can open to receive the greater levels of wisdom associated with the moon and associated with cancer. Deep breath in. Relaxing, letting it all go. Inviting forward your inner child, inviting for your emotional body, inviting forward your heart. So the messages coming through for me that I'm sensing with this channeling are the importance of learning how to flow with the tides. All the ways in which the tides can come forward in our lives. The ebbs and flows, the ebbs and flows. That's riding in harmony with the universe. And the lessons and the love that comes through in its various ways and the ease in which we can navigate all that life shares with us. Calling forward your infinite wisdom in the softness of the moon with the support that cancer offers us and inviting forward now the strength within this wisdom within these connections inviting forward this energy to actually become more grounded within your being feeling your feet a little bit more now if possible as this energy comes through and anchors deep within your physical body. Deep breath. Feeling the energy come up on your inhale and relaxing on your exhale one more time inviting the energy to ride up from the bottoms of your feet all the way up your body to the top of your head relaxing on the exhale this is exactly how you let go the feeling of the energy wells up perhaps when we get upset when we have that emotional charge 
and then the relaxing, the exhale, the release of the energy. This is how we let go. Very good practice. Inviting forward our higher selves now to be more embodied in the physical form. Inviting for the heart. So the higher self has a way to express itself. Feeling the water, that ebb and flow once again, encouraging your heart to come forward in softness, sweetness, just gently coming forward ever more. This welcomes the higher self to become more present, more connected to your conscious expression here. Still feeling your feet and legs so that these energies can be grounded into the here and now. It's very important to practice your grounding so that all these good blessings, activations, intentions, healings, all of this gets grounded into the here and now, into the physical body. I know for some of us it can be hard to find our feet. Perhaps there's some fear there of being present in our bodies. But you work with what you can, and it is, after all, a practice. So we're going to invite forward now some more happiness and joy in celebration of this new moon in Cancer, in celebration of all the wonderful opportunities and healings of connections that we can make with this new moon, the ability to really be internal with ourselves and be able to feel those emotions. We learn so much from our emotions. The key is not to get too attached to them, to witness them as emotions. Let them come up, let them go right out. <laughs> we don't need to hang on to it, do we? We can witness and go, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that was, that was a, a download to try to get that through to us, not to attach to our emotions, to let them come up and let them go right out. That's what that was. Boy, if we can learn that, life would get a lot easier. <laughs> so to remind her that we are here for a time, we're here to experience and to always seek to the best of our abilities the broader perspective of all things. Imagine as though you are that divine sublime being looking down on the planet because that's after all what you are. But see if you can connect to that truth. Offers a different perspective. There you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this light language uh, channeling, ceremony, blessing, healing, all the good things for this new moon in Cancer. Um, I wish you a very, very beautiful lunar cycle. And as always, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to hear from you. 
tell your friends about light language and how amazingly powerful it is and how sweet it truly is and i just wish you the best new moon ever and i look forward to seeing you all very very soon all blessings